How's it going, everyone? My name is Theody, and welcome to The Sandman. The Sandman is the second part of the Man series. I've already played the first, third, and fourth, being the Crooked Man, the Boogeyman, and the Hegman, so I thought I might as well complete the series with the second part, The Sandman. Without further ado, let's hop to it. <laughs> That's cute. The horror warning as per usual. Thank you, Yuri. Oh, I did forget to mention that I have seen a let's play of this game from start to finish. So there are parts here and there that I might remember. But for the most part, I've seen it like three years ago. My memory isn't the best. <laughs> to, I don't really remember much of the Crooked Man. So chances are this game will be as new to me as it is to any other new first time player. Shh. Quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. It's only a monster moaning in the closet. Heh <laughs> Just kidding. Well, you're not so sleepy, are you? Then I'll tell you a scary story. <laughs> Thanks. The terrifying story of the Sandman. Wow, little Sophie when she was like 14 or so. Will's age. Isn't that crazy? Morning already? I know, no voice acting. Sorry if you guys got used to it. I did. Now I actually have to read stuff. I'd never make it to school in time if I did fall asleep now. This can contains a few pieces of trash. A standing lamp. The one thing I love about the man series is they're, they're each independent of each other and you don't require to have played all of the series to play one of the games. Your favorite teddy bear just washed so he's nice and fluffy. Sophie Grinder. <laughs> Look at that font. It's cute. The desk clock ticks on. A small bookshelf features some teen magazines. There are clothes in a dresser. On top is a mess of stuff. Actually, it looks pretty neat. Oh, I'm like in middle school, or just beginning high school. The closet is full of clothes. Bags are kept in here too. Alright, let's move on. A phone. A rather old picture taken on a vacation. A pot with a burnt bottom on the stove. A bit of kitchen waste. A stove. There's still bread in the toaster. Oh yeah, I forgot to toast it yesterday. So you just left it in there? <laughs> I see you're just gonna keep it there. Good job, Sophie. Good job. A refrigerator. Not much food inside. That's okay, because you got toast. I mean, untoasted toast. Bread. A cupboard. A TV. It's been used for a long time. A note. Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying at work for a while. I'll have money to take care of yourself for now. Lock the doors and don't leave the stove on. Also, Sister Mary from the school called for me to her to see her. Did you do something bad? I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. Okay. I guess she did something bad. The shoe shelf has sneakers and pumps. What what are pumps? A shoe shelf. Dad's leather boots are here. Like a bicycle pump? Oh wait, that's the exit. No, I wanted to check the rest of the house. Oh well. We'll check it when we come back home. Am I here somewhere? Oh there I am. Regan. Hey Sophie, you got a painter at your house? Because man, that hair! How do you get that red without a paint spill being involved? It, is she like bullying me? <laughs> Cause that's pretty lame. Well, they're 14 or so. Now hold on Regan, maybe she lives near a hot dog vendor and this took the ketchup for shampoo. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Okay, now follower 1 has better jokes than Regan. <laughs> Miss Grundler, are you here? Yes? I want to talk. Come to my room at once. 
I know, my voice isn't as better as... Isn't as good as the original. Ah! That's the uh, vo voice actor for part 3 and 4. Gah. What are you doing, klutz? Hurry up, you're so slow. Seriously. Don't we meet Regan in part 4? I might be wrong. Probably not. Damn, what's that? who's that? Follower 2? Oh. Oh, it's Anne! The tarot card girl! Sophie. Um, about Regan, try not to let it get to you. You're not worth responding to anyway. It's fine. I wonder why Regan teases you so much. It must be hard just being her. I'm the only outlet for her stress. Um, well, I'm on your side, okay, Sophie? How nice, Anne. You're always, um, watching me. Well, we're friends. I, I don't really have any friends but you. I need to see Sister Mary. See you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> what if Sophie's like, yeah, friends. All you do is watch. <laughs> Thanks for getting my back. Come in. Welcome, Miss Grindler. Please, take a seat. Yes, Sister Mary. Miss Grindler, you showed great improvement on your last exam. I'm truly moved by your diligence. You've always been a calm model student. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I'll have to tell the principal as well. Thank you very much. By the way, Miss Grindler, have you resolved what we discussed before? Did we talk? My, did you forget? You told me you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Oh, yeah, so I did. Sorry, I'm spacing out. I forgot. It's no good. I just can't sleep. I get in bed and try to doze off, but I just find myself up until morning. How long have you been sleepless? As of last night, maybe about 10 days? Sorry, I can't really remember that either. Oh my, have you gone to the hospital? No, my dad's busy, so I don't want to worry him, and it would cost money. I see. I wanted to talk to your father myself, but it seemed that's not at his convenience. I think I'll be able to sleep soon. Please, don't worry about it. Excuse me, it's time for worship. Wow, so she went to a Catholic school. Are you praying? For what? For sleep? <laughs> Pray to the Lord before you sleep. The teachers never miss a day. Perhaps you should try it. It may calm you down and allow you to sleep. I see. Excuse me. See, I totally do not remember that she went to a church school. Why is light given to those in misery and life to the bitter of soul, to those who long for death that does not come, who search for it more than for hidden treasure, who are filled with gladness and rejoice when they reach the grave? Why is life given to a man whose way is hidden, whom God has hedged in? For sighing has become my daily food, my groans pour out like water, why fear has come upon me, why dread it has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness, I have no rest, but only turmoil. Job was a man honest and adoring justice, but as we all know, that does not ensure that disaster will not befall us, yes? Through calamity, he saw the truth, the truth that not everything can go swimmingly, though you may be too young to have such experience. Trust in the ways of the Lord and endure your hardship, just as the Son of God had faith in man and bore suffering. That is what gives us greater merit. So ends my sermon. Now, let us pray. I should shower and get to bed. Oh, <laughs> I thought she was going to grab it. If you take your fright, favorite teddy bear, maybe you'll be able to sleep better. This room is this. Hmm, a photo of mom? Oh, she sleeps in separate rooms with her dad from your dad? 
The trash can is full of paper waste. Work stuff, probably. A small traveling bag. Dad always taken on business trips. Dad's suit. Oh no, this is your parents' room. Dad's closet. Both suits and casual clothes. Or, oh, this is just your dad's room. Okay, that makes more sense. It looks very dad-like. And where's the mom's room? Wait, that's my room. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Photo of mom. Oh, are they divorced? They are, aren't they? There's a stock of detergent on the shelves. There are clothes in the washing machine. Seem like mostly dad's. New wash basin. A toilet. Selfie! And she looks horrible. <laughs> God, I look awful. Bags under my eyes still works. Because I haven't slept for days, I'm sure. Why can't I sleep? I just want to sleep soon. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Yeah, you look horrendous. Wait, didn't mom leave me stuff? Unless Papa wrote in like third person or whatever person it is. A prayer before bed, huh? Didn't I always do that when mom was here? Well oh, no. Now I lay me down to sleep. The Lord I pray my soul to keep. Oh, there is voice acting. And if I die before I wake, the Lord I pray my soul to take. Stupid. If that could put me to sleep, there'd be no trouble. Now would there? I guess there's only some voice acting. I know that they want to include voice acting into the Sandman. By the way, this is version 2 of the download. I don't know how much it differs from version 1, but... That being said... Version 2. Something's weird. What happened to the clock? The wall clock stopped at midnight. Weird. It just changed the battery. Is it broken or what? This clock stopped at 12 too. What's this about? Spooby. Nope, nope, still the same. Bathtub, mirror is slightly dirty. Dead? No, not dead. Oh, what? Huh? It, it's the old guy from next door. W what happened here? He, he's sleeping. Why out in the hall in the dead of night? Wait, maybe did he trip and hit his head? Oh no, I have to call an ambulance. Of oh, course, cool, she had it on her. Why won't they answer? It's a 911 call. If I can't get through to them, what am I supposed to glean from that? Oh, oh, I need to go tell his wife. Oh, I wish I was facing this way so I could see her actually hold the phone. Oh man, are you okay? I think he's just sleeping, but... Oh, sorry. Excuse me, are you in there, miss? It's not locked, it's wide open. Am I going in? Ooh, miss? Miss, get up, please. What happened? She, she's asleep too. What's going on? Something's weird here for sure. It's usually pretty noisy at night. Why is it so quiet tonight? I think the world's sleeping, Selfie. Shouldn't go in here. <laughs> Shouldn't go in here. I'm sorry, breaking in as it is. If it were my house, that'd be my room. But I shouldn't go in here. Well, do they have, like, food? Because you seem to be pretty low on food. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Trash can's empty. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, holy. A another person asleep on the ground. Why are they all sleeping like this? What the hell is happening? Is there anyone else awake? 
Oh wow! Guys, just look at this place. It's the same town! Like, pretty much identical. I mean, granted, it's only three years that passes from here to, uh, Wills, the hangman, but still. Okay, maybe not three, like three to five, something like that. The cafe is locked up tight. Alright, I, I, I'll, I'll just play. <laughs> There's a map of the town. Got a town map. A mailbox. I wonder if I'll be able to actually explore more inside the homes and buildings of places. The restaurant is locked up tight. Oh yeah, and then she ends up working there, right? No, she works at the cafe up top. A blue plastic garbage pail. A bank is locked up tight. A car for a company called Secu Safety Guard. Alright, that's cool. I think it looks booby. <laughs> looks like a giant beetle. I know what it is, but I'm just saying. It looks like a giant beetle. Yeah, water fountain. Oh. What? Mine with cooking and craft books. Uh. Ads for new publications and such. Yep, same stuff. A book lays on the floor. Do I read it? Yes, I do. The vengeance of hell boils in my heart. Death and despair flame about me. If Sarastro does not through you feel the pain of death, then you will be my daughter nevermore. Disowned may you be forever. Abandoned may you be forever. Destroyed be forever all the bonds of nature. If not through you, Sarastro becomes pale. Hear gods of revenge. Hear a mother's oath. I think I've read this before. The magic flute, was it? Yeah, I don't know. A pile of books. <laughs> magic flute? Is that like Peter Pan? No, no, no. The the whip. Peter Piper. Your register. Is it okay to leave the door wide open when there's a cash register here? <laughs> I thought she was going to be like, Well, I, I guess I could use some for the future. <laughs> okay, what was that smoke? Where was it going? Or was that smoke supposed to say the book? Yeah, a hotel. And it's locked. Oh yeah, it's the middle of the night. They do lock it, right? Not entirely sure. Probably did. I don't go to too many hotels. Hello, sleeping dead person. Resting peacefully. A hospital. I don't even want to go near a hospital at night. Yeesh! <laughs> I mean, to be honest, Sophie is probably her best bet to finding someone that might be awake. A boutique. It's locked up tight. A tree. I bet it's sleeping too. A company called J.P. Gordon's and Cheese. Well, wow. that's a nice company. The front door of an apartment. It's locked up tight. A mailbox. Oh, what? Why did I come here of all places? Let me go here first then. Convenience the store is locked up tight because it's night. It's night and it's locked up tight. Oh. <laughs> 50 cans. Locked up tight in the night. Locked up tight in the night. That's not even right. <laughs> oh god. I'm not even bothering. 101. Why is there a crack on the room? In the wall. Oh. Okay, well. It's time to, uh. Try every single door with their flowers. And that's how you know nothing spooky is gonna happen. Locked up tight. Locked up tight. Hmm. Nothing seems to be working. Why did I even come here? If everything's just locked up tight, is it supposed to be my answer? That was weird. I continue moving f that away. No, let's check out my town map. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's nothing that says anything about reasons of going into that, uh, go to the subway station. I don't know. For going into that, uh, whatchamacallit, apartment. Kinda just went there for some reason. Okay, let's find out uh, where we're situated. Can I call someone on my cell phone? Even the phone clock can stop right at midnight. Well, that's cool. Okay, hospital, hospital. Where are you, hospital? Up top. So we go straight down. Haha. -ha. Ooh, I got something. This just gets weirder and weirder. All the people I've seen are asleep on the street. Wonder where it's going on. Hello, spooky shadow. Wait, are you a person that's awake? Or like a spooky shadow? <laughs> Sophie! David! Ah, so it is you. D David? David, why are you here? I was doing overtime, then when I left to go home, things looked weird. It's like everyone just fell asleep on the spot. I got worried, so I took a look around, and then I found you. You okay, Sophie? Not hurt or anything? N nah, I'm fine, but I have no clue how this happened. Yeah, me neither. Why would everybody hit the hay? I wonder if we're the only ones awake. Who can say? Maybe some are awake inside. I'll go look to see. You want to come with me? Sh sure Oh, hold on. Hmm? What? My friend, my friend Anne, she lives in the dorms at school. You want to see her? If Anne's awake, I'm sure she's scared, since she's pretty timid. I want to go look for her. Well, friends are important after all. I'll go with you. <gasps> you can't, David. It's an old girl's school. Oh, right, Catholic school. Yeah, no boys allowed, huh? Except, no. Because, seriously? That doesn't matter right now. It could be dangerous. Let me go with you. I'm fine. I can do it myself. I go there every day. It's not like I get lost. Alright, alright, if you insist. Find your own, huh? I'll look around elsewhere and we'll meet up later. Come to the park once you find your friend, okay? Yeah, got it. Sophie. Don't do anything rash. If anything happened to you, I'd... you know... Okay, that was awkward and weird. So if you've seen my other Let's Plays, then um, you'll know why they have this awkward vibe. And if you don't, then I will not spoil it for you. Continue to watch the series onward. Resting peacefully. <laughs> I do want to talk about it, but I won't. We'll probably talk about it at the end, though. So, don't worry. I'm not holding out on you guys. We will talk about it eventually. The bulletin board for the apartments. And it's also locked up tight. Alright, so I want to go to the... Uh, where do you call it place? The kindergarten. Spooby kindergarten with beetles. <laughs> Ladybugs. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure I could go down. Okay, now at this point... Wait, a bar is locked up in the middle of night? Uh, okay. A beer garden. A beer garden. Ah, uh, you're funny. You're funny, game. You're funny. Okay, uh, uh, is this a school? Looks very school-like. Yep. The latch on the inside keeps the gate firmly shut. Well, I can just slide my hand past the gates and uh, unlock it. Not gonna be open, of course. It is the middle of the night. Oh. I was thinking it's one of those slidey lock things. I was about to say that it made no sense, but now it does. Would I be able to get over this wall? 
You have to find a ladder somewhere. Oh, uh, for a second, I was like, Sophie, you can parkour? After all this time? My god. Menu board has been left out. Today's special is lasagna, full of cheese and veggies. Mmm, that sounds good. Wait, that means it... How, how early did you try to go to bed, Sophie? At like, 10? Or, no, no, not even. Like, 8 o'clock or something? I mean, this could have happened at like 9 or 10 o'clock. No, like, yeah, like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Since the bar isn't even open yet. Guess that kind of makes sense. Maybe these are all like night bars. Oops. Locked. 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 Alright, I'm gonna officially oopsies, use it. Okay. Where do you guys think we would find a ladder? I was thinking of like in some department store, but. Might be all locked up. Uh, I don't suppose it's just hanging around somewhere, is it? That'd be weird. Oh, what? <laughs> How would I suspect that? Does it say guns? It seems awful dangerous to just leave these lying around here. Plus, where the heck am I? <laughs> Why are there guns in here? Uh okay. That's uh Right, well you 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 just don't care, Sophie. Just don't care. <laughs> Neither will I. The question is though, will she be able to climb back over after Hopping to the other side. Uh, I guess that's a yes. Nope, that's a no. <laughs> she didn't really plan it through, did she? Won't open. Hmm, how can I get in? Uh, maybe there's a rock because you got some windows here. You know? Ooh, what's this? There's a shovel stuck in the flower bed. Oh, I got a shovel. Uh, that's very vague. Like, do you want me to, to do something? Man, should I really? Well, this is an emergency. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that works. Sorry, Sister Mary. Wow. That probably goes against all of your, like, Values and stuff. Classrooms are all locked, I'm sure. I'll check the doors for Anne. It has some Bible verse posted up. He said, Listen now, and I will speak. I will question you, and you shall answer me. Job 42 4. I can see why um, Yuri said that she was nervous about producing this game now. Because she placed a lot of religion in it. Hmm. But overall, it's not that bad. It fits with the story and everything, you know? Okay, do I know which room is Sophie's? Ah, here it is. I mean, Anne's. That's her roommate on the top bunk, but why isn't Anne here? She didn't say she was going home. Is she somewhere in the school? But almost every room is locked. That's it. The chapel. It's never locked, so people can pray anytime. Maybe she could be there. And where is that chap? What? Was there something there? A bath? A wash basin? A toilet? Bath. Okay, spooky, smoky thing. I'ma just go look for Anne in the chapel. Wherever that may be. How come there's no school bath? <laughs> Doesn't really make much sense, but still. Cafeteria. Maybe this is the chapel. Oh, no. All classrooms, maybe? There she is! 
Babel, there's a bookmark in here. Bookmark in here. Like a slave longing for the evening shadows or a hired laborer waiting to be paid. Just give me a second, Ant. I gotta read this Bible real quick. <laughs> so I have been a lot of months of futility and nights of misery have been assigned to me. When I lie down, I think, how long before I get up? The night drags on, and I toss and turn into a dawn. Well, that's a sweet ride. So I'm about to pay you a dime. Ian, you're okay. S Sophie, why are you here? Things are weird in town. Everyone fell over and conked out, so I got worried about you. Come on, Anne. Let's get out of here. There's a friend of mine waiting outside. Who knows what's going on, but we should stick together. No, I won't go. W why not? No, no, no. I'm scared. They will chase me again. Hey, come on, Anne. It's fine. I didn't see any weird people. But... Look, this friend of mine is a guy you can trust. He'll protect you, even if there are weirdos. So, yeah, come with me. Okay. Alright, I guess Anne's been seeing those shadows as well. I mean, smokes. And there it is. Yeah! W w what? Where are you going, little Miss Liar? Uh, n no, not again. Wait, why is she a liar? Running away again, are we? You really are such a liar. Liars must be punished. What's with you? Get away from Anne. Why? She's a liar, isn't she? A liar is a bad thing to be, so they must be punished. I don't have a clue what you mean. Just get away from Anne now. She's my friend. I see. Are you a liar too? Huh? Liars need punishment. Yes, extreme punishment. So we'll become liars ourselves. No! Anne! Oh my god, that was intense. Hey, where'd you take Anne? Hmm? Who knows? You, you should. Get back Anne. Where'd she go? Why don't you look for her? Oh snap, this is getting intense. Wait. <laughs> what? Do you see that last door on the right? As it was panning over? I thought they already opened it. <laughs> Go take a look. Find your friend. Oh, but you have plenty of time. Oh no, it's a timed event! And... Ah, I meant to save! No! No! I'm sure she's not even in the school. Oh, she's in the school. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, give me another hint. Give me another hint. I saw her on this floor. Oh god, that means she's not here. Right? I'm guessing that everyone's just being in reverse of what they're saying. She ran from the school, I saw her. Stop lying! Oh my god, what if some of them were telling the truth though? And there's, this is all just psychology. Ah, why did I accidentally hit escape? It's because I wanted to save. I didn't think it would prompt me to save. God damn it. You, tell me. Now. It's fine if you don't find her. No need to worry. God, that means she's gonna die. <laughs> No need to rush, it's fine. Oh, they're just wasting my time now. Damn it, Anne. Why are you a supposed liar? Man, the cafeteria. Pretty big. She's not even close to here. Look somewhere further. Oh, that means she's here somewhere. Oh god, I only have two minutes left.
liar. You're an unbelievable liar. How can you lie with such a straight face? You should just disappear. Anne! Ah, she found out. Anne, are you okay? Did it do anything weird to you? S Sophie. Good, guess you're not hurt. Anne, let's get out of here now. I'm not sure what's going on. I just know it's weird. Get up, Anne. They might come back if we don't hurry. Yeah. Oh no, she has a secret and she's hiding it from me. Yeah! What? Liar. What are they? No. No! Wait, Anne, don't go! It's dangerous! No! No more! I'm going home! Let me go home! Anne, let go! Ow! Uh... So sorry Sophie. I... I was scared, um... Anne! God damn it, Anne! Why? After I find you, you just run away! Ah, uh, forget about Anne. Go cower all alone if you want. No, Sophie, you don't mean that. You're just saying that because you're cranky. I'm gonna save in a separate spot just in case I did hide and seek wrong. You never know when it comes to your games. You never know. There's a secret everywhere. Hey, look, a microwave. A stove. Wait, what? That's a microwave. <laughs> so, Sophie, you're funny. You're a funny girl, Sophie. You're a funny girl. Ooh, that pizza. Damn, we have one beastly awesome cafeteria. I miss... I miss high school food. So cheap. So cheap. Blow the bar with a Bible verse. What strength do I have that I should still hope? What prospects that I should be patient? Is that trying to say, like, I should be patient with Anne? Like, I know they said not to look for her, but I kind of want to look for her. You know? I mean, Sophie said that she doesn't want to look for her, but... I'm totally down with looking for her. <laughs> like how I'm just going in and looking at people sleep in their bed. That's not creepy at all, Sophie. Now is it? A cutscene. So you solve it like that. Got it? Oh, I see. That makes sense. You really are smart, Sophie. I can't even do my own homework. I'm envious. You're always so calm and mature and smart, and you're even really nice, too. And if it were me, Regan was bullying, I don't think I'd be brave enough to come to school. I wish I could be more like you, Sophie. The teachers always say you try your best, Anne, and I have to agree, you're way better than me. Sorry, Sophie, for never saving you from Regan and her bullies. I want to help, but I'm too scared, so I just watch. I'm really so sorry. Look, I don't mind at all, so you shouldn't either, Anne. I'm just happy being together like this. Thanks, you're my best friend, Sophie. Sophie. Oh. Oh, David. Found anyone else awake? Wait, did I actually fall asleep or? Nope, no good. I checked the hospital and hotel, but not a single eye open. Hmm. What about your friend, Sophie? I'm pissed at her. Forget about it. <laughs> Didn't find her? No, well, I did, but she ran off. Ran? What do you mean, ran? Um, I have a feeling you're not going to believe me, David. Strange black shadows. What could that have been? I haven't seen anything odd. D do you believe me? Well, it's not a lie, is it? I know you're not a lying type. Thanks, but I wonder what's up with this. No one awake in those shadows? Yeah, this isn't exactly normal, huh? But doesn't mean we can necessarily do anything. 
Hmm. I'm gonna have to keep looking for others. Maybe I'll find out some sort of resolution. Sophie, come with me this time. Like I told you, it's too dangerous. But, I mean, it's not very efficient to go door to door together in such a big town, is it? Don't you think splitting up would be faster? I swear I'm fine by myself. I said no, I can't let you go alone. Who knows what could happen? It's fine. I'd only trouble you, David. I'm going. I feel a lot safer having you with me than you getting into danger out of sight. Fine. But can you at least tell me where you'll search? I was thinking of checking the west end. It might be that the people so awake are all gathered together, so I'll check Blumberg Mall. Ah, I gotcha, but try to stay out of danger, okay? Come back to this park as soon as you're done. Yeah, got it. Darn, I was really hoping we'd team up together, but I guess Sophie's not down for it. As for Anne, I searched throughout the entire school and found absolutely nothing, so I moved on. Alright, now... Uh, where's to the Blumberg Mall? Wait, where's the Blumberg Mall? <laughs> I am terrible at this. Oh, that's so cool. They updated for me. Alright, so I gotta go up then right. Gotcha. Hey guys, terribly sorry for the lag. I'm not entirely sure what happened myself because the next part runs smoothly and even playing the game it ran smoothly. So why I recorded this way? God knows. Regardless, you made it this far so I gotta say thank you for sticking with it. Next part will not be laggy. See you guys then. Alright, ciao!